for displaced residents from Horoma and, and Kiamaiko. Those displaced from hostel ward and Mabatini are sheltered temporarily at Mathare Vocational Training Center and ODM office. With regard to the destruction of infrastructure, the following bridges have been completely swept off. Gumba Bridge joining Madari Mabatini Ward and Ruaraka Utali Ward. 4B Bridge joining 4B in Hospital Ward and Ruaraka. Madari North Kiamaiko Bridge joining Huruma Ward in Madari and Madari North in Ruaraka. DP Bridge joining Mlangokuba Village and Kosovo Hospital Ward in Madari. Siga Bridge joining Hospital Ward and Mlangokuba Village 2. Humanitarian assistance needed immediately include foodstuffs, blankets, mattresses, water and medicines. Long-term assistance needed include building materials to reconstruct houses for those displaced and financial assistance to resettle those who had built on riparian land near the river. In Kibra constituency, the situation is as follows. <clears throat> Up to 810 households have been displaced and four people presumed dead. Two bodies have been retrieved while two are yet to be located. The bridge connecting Sarangombe and Langata has been washed away. We beseech residents to immediately move to higher ground to avoid being caught in more flooding. <clears throat> in Mbakasi South constituency, the unfolding situation is as this. Nairobi River has broken the banks and swept into Quarry Primary School, where it is about three feet high. It has covered the houses at Kimondo area and has filled the Bimji Quarry Hole. In Kwanjenga, the water has backed up the road all the way to Ebenezer's shop. In Kwaruben, the whole of the lower Ruben is underwater. The three bridges connecting Kwaruben and Makadara have been swept away. That is the Sinai Ruben Bridge, the Lungalunga Lunga Ruben Bridge, and the Kingston Ruben Bridge. The Quarry Sinai Bridge has also been swept away. <coughs> there are clear indications that any existing emergency systems are overwhelmed and will not cope the more the disaster unravels. It is therefore our urgent appeal that one, the president and government hereby declare the floods a national disaster and immediately activate all emergency mechanisms including military disaster response teams. Two, the Red Cross moves to launch an emergency disaster support kitty to assist families affected by the flooding for urgent distribution on a case-by-case case -case basis. As we speak, the Azimio members of parliament assembled here have already put together the sum of Kenya shillings 1 million as a start which shall be given to the Red Cross in Nairobi for distribution to the affected people. The county and national governments unveil a robust that is three. Three, the county and national governments unveil a robust information gathering and sharing system to enable people report and avoid disasters as they unfold. Four, while we continue to receive reports from other parts of Nairobi and access to some, some neighborhoods that remains critically limited, 
We appeal to the government and other disaster response agencies to launch thorough search and rescue efforts in all affected areas and provide food rations, blankets and medication to affected residents. It is important to point out that all focus show that the rains will be pouring some more tonight and the coming days, which means the disaster is about to get worse. Preparedness is key to forestalling a crisis of larger proportions. I ought to have said about Nairobi applies almost with equal weight across the entire country. The entire country, as we talk today, is in a situation of a national disaster. Therefore, it is important that the government moves with speed to mobilize all the national resources available, all the national resources available in the country to deal with this situation. The military, the paramilitary police should all be engaged in order to help our people. Across the country you've seen Tana River, you've seen Baringo, you've seen Mandera, you've seen, um, uh, you've seen uh, Nyando, you've seen Busia, you've seen, it's all over the country. Even in some of the most unlikely places, there is their disaster. As we go through all this and seek help, I believe that all Kenyans believe that as a country we deserve better and we can do better. I believe that as a country we can do better than crying for help when rains come and crying for help again when rains fail. We can do better. End of the statement. Guys, do you mean being here? Do you mean being here?